guys, Aminga here, and welcome back to God of War. We spent the last episode basically exploring, looking around, getting my butt handed to me multiple times by multiple enemies. And so right now we are in a place called the Forgotten Caverns. And... I'll pick those up later. They won't go anywhere, right? And, um... I'm going to just see what's around here. I don't know how far I'll get. Or even if I want to get very far. So you never know. Oh, Mr. Serpent. I thought I heard something. So let's see, what's up here? Caverns makes it sound like it's a cat, a cave, but I'm going up. Well, hello. I've been here. Seriously? Well, that'll be cool, <laughs> at least. Well, well then. Kinda a little disappointed. Just a little. But okay. We'll go back down then. And then, um, but you know what? It's good. It's all good. Because this means that we can actually, um, do what we're supposed to do. Which was go and, um, fulfill Brock's favor. And you know what? I still, I'm still curious about the fact that, um, Sindri gave us arrows that Freya did not like, considered dangerous. Still curious about that. So that's something else to think about. I discovered opportunities for hunting and trade in these lands. I gave up my search for Jotunheim long ago. Leave that for the younger, more hopeful men. But I was over-eager. And my men paid a heavy price. I will do your favor, eventually. I promise. Maybe. Boy, what a sad story. Yes. We should help him. Really? You are surprised. Well, yeah. I don't think you'd care about helping a spirit. Fighting more Hellwalkers is good experience for you. Oh. <laughs> well then. That, uh, clears things up. Alright, so. The mirror. There was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and, and visions. Ah, that would be Groa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress, who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms, all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy that she might find her lost husband, our Vandil. But it was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions, for it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok. The end and the beginning. When Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy, he maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a longtime patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, Jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad, but that's just... Ruthless, barbaric, heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. You tell me. Good gracious. And so I reflect longer. 
Funny. Hello there. It's been a while. Okay. Hmm. One way to do it. I imagine there's nothing I can do here. Yeah, I can't get in through that way. I don't know what these are. The mirror's not talking. I wonder why there's that stuff growing. All the way out here. Okay. Now it just leaped me down. Ugh. Ugh, those things are gross. No! Okay. Uh-huh. What's along this road? Nothing I can get to. That's becoming the word of the day. Or words. Nope, can't get to that. Nope, can't do that. Nope, nope, nope. Very Metrovania that way. That look, that's an elf. What's an elf doing here? Ah. At least that's gone. Oh, hello. <laughs> These ones are surprisingly easy. Raven. There. Missed. There we go. I probably missed so many of those. Oh. What do you want to bet? These are the rooms. And because of those things, I can't get to them. What do you want to bet? But I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to look and see at everything. Another arrow or an upgrade to our magic. No, not what I meant to do. Oh, hello, treasure. I see you. I take you. Thank you. And there's the giant. The actual giant giant. Hmm. That's weird. I guess that's where the beach used to come up to. Oh, boy. 
You're not getting me with that one. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. I felt that one, brother. Shit. I can't see. Oh, Crap. Again. Dodge the wrong way. Come on. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Okay, I need to just like wait this out. Can't get him in for close combat range. At the ready. File right side. God, no. What? Oh. I like how he's just standing there staring at my dead body. Oh. Oh. I think we're gonna go ahead and avoid that. No reason to deal with it right now. Yeah. I'm a coward. Fully and completely. I admit it. It's all okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any way of getting that angle. Yeah. Kind of gross. Um, let's go back to the boat and actually get back to doing what I was supposed to. Maybe it's in here. Discovered Bolander Mines, Bolander Chasm. I this is the way to go. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganum Gagop, the great void. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire and there was ice, and there in the void they met and produced water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Emir's lifeblood with his spear. 
A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. From Ymir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. Called himself All-Father, as if he was the creator and not the creator's destroyer. A small, covetous tyrant. Ymir? Huh? Oh, sorry, my boy. Ah, uh, you know, I think it best we just end it there, actually. This is definitely the way to the Volander Mines. So that's where we're going. That's what we're doing. If I can, yep, there we go. <clears throat> Man, Odin does not sound like a good guy. <laughs> Forward. Hmm. Missed. I thought it was a little too early. Oh, missed again. That's great. Come on. I'll get you. There we go. Third time's a charm. And of course, this is the gate. I find it a little odd that it was given to us so early and we literally couldn't do anything with it. Up we go. Oh, hello. Hack silver. I like hack silver. It's all good. I Come guess that's the way I threw. Hello. You're just out in the open. I'll take you. Thank you. Huh. Like he already read it. Hold on. Let me read this. Vari's invention. Through this path lies the mines of Volander. Vol Volander? This great endeavor was made possible by Anne Vari, the alchemist, son of Vivaldi, through whose ingenuity the very stone and bedrock was turned from obstacle to mighty tool of industry. A dwarven miner's greatest fear has always been running afoul of the ancients, but through Anne Vari's genius, they are now no more than tools in our righteous undertaking. A new age for doors dawns here. No mere miners, but masters of iron, whose greatest craft is the future itself. The ancients. That <laughs> leaves me worried. I'm not gonna come across an ancient. Cause I haven't had luck with those. Being super honest. <laughs> Brock, how would I know you'd be here? Alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've, We've met. met. Oh, why didn't you say so? 
He knows why. I know why. You know why. Quiet. No more of this. You know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. You're family. Now don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one who forgot what her name stood for. What we made, the weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for more years than I can count. You just don't throw that away on account of one bad... One bad what? You One bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? Aw. Let's get you squared away then. Talon bow upgrade. Okay. Say the word, kid. Oh. That's a lot of money. Okay. I'm finding him very useful. Oh, you make up your mind? By Axe Light Runic Attacks. Fury of the Ice Troll. Oh. That's nice. 15,000. Oh. Boy! Breath of Thamer. Oh, wow. I like that. Smoldering Ember, Crest of Flame, Greater Crest of Flame, Crest of Surter. Wow. I think that's going to be a wow. Muspelheim's Eye of Power. Roar's Frozen Shard. Burry's Frozen Shard. Mir's Frozen Shard. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. Cell. Enchantments. I don't need quite so many. Okay. And artifacts. No, I'm gonna go. Ahead. You got what you wanted. <laughs> Why is he laughing at me? Okay. And resources. A soft. Sprato Fime Steel. Nah, I'm good. Okay, chest armor. Breastplate of Fallen Ash. Smoldering Ember. That seems to be something that I come across a lot. Ooh. Sturdy defensive armor favoring vitality, defense, and strength. That's pretty good. Compare. Plus 10 strength. Plus six defense. Vitality go cool down goes down, but vitality goes up. And I haven't really had much to worry about. Oh. Hold on. Hmm. Not as much vitality, but it does go up. But it Sends runic up and defense only slightly up. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Let's see. I'm gonna go with this one. Wear it with the rock. I was getting tired of the shoulder arms. The scales, anyway. This looks cool. And let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. I could have the whole set. Right? What did I buy? The dwarven. Okay. Fifteen thousand hawk. Ugh. But it would bring my cooldown even lower. 
That would only do me good. I don't even know what I'm wearing right now. What am I wearing? Wolfskin waist guard. I've had that thing for a while. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. Looks good. Okay. I meant to equip that. Oops. Uh huh. And what try his you armor. Need? Again, I didn't leave enough money for. Get something else in mind. Combo. Searcher's grip of flame. Low perk activation chance to grant wrath of flame on any successful hit. Hmm. Successful axe kills grant a health burst. Mm, it brings down minus five for almost everything. My luck is just so sh crap. I'm gonna bring my luck up. Grant a gift of strength by launching an enemy into the air. Oh. Grant a health burst on any successful executioner's cleave. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And then... Ah. I need solid Spartelheim steel. Which I don't have. And I need... Three more serpent scale fragments. Okay. Talisman. Sinmara Cinder. Summon a raging Muspelheim maelstrom that prevents Kratos' attacks from being interrupted, reduces the amount of damage he takes, and inflicts normal and burn damage to all. That sounds really freaking good. Smoldering Ember. What do you want to bet? I'd have to go to Muspelheim to get that. What do you want to bet? Talisman of Unbound Potential. Refresh all runic attack cooldowns. That might be good eventually. Okay, I think Well, I think we're done. What else were we talking about? I don't know. I think we're done. Oh, hello. Read what this does to me, it please. say? Yes, sir. Uh these runes read death inside. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Does it look like I've even started? Death inside. There must be. Pl this must be old. There's plenty of death outside too. Aw, honey, you're losing your your innocence. Just don't lose your compassion. Won't let me. Can I do anything? Why am I here? Yeah, I couldn't. I see. Just wanted to stare into my eyes. This guy. This guy. Okay, so I'm actually at the 30 minute mark. A little short. Um, but I don't want to go super long if this favor takes forever like the last favor did. Um, so we're going to end it here. And on the next episode, we're going to pick up and we're going to go in there and we're probably going to die. A lot. So look forward to that. I'll see you guys next time.